happy Monday. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Real Agent 316, once again. I appreciate the support of a like, comment, or subscribe, and thank the things that help my channel out, really, as I attempt to provide you with meaningful content. Even if this helps to inspire or motivate one person, it's worth it to me. So let's get started. In Ephesians 1, 18 through 19, it says, I pray that the eyes of, the, of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe these are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might. So God's power is seen in creation, pr uh, preservation, redemption, and resurrection. Think of all the energy that we get from the sun and multiply that by the innumerable stars in space. But God, by his great power, created all the stars with no effort whatsoever. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth, all their host. This is Psalm 33, 6. He just spoke and they were made. God's power also preserves the universe. Christ upholds all things by the word of his power, Hebrews 1.3, and in him all things hold together, Colossians 1.17. Chaos would result unless his sustaining hands were directing the orderliness of creation. That's in Psalm 104, Jeremiah 31, 35 through 36. God's power was beautifully demonstrated at the cross. Satan was subdued, death was conquered, and the penalty of our sins was paid. The gospel is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes in Romans 1.16. When we were saved, God made a, each of us a new creation, creature. New creation. Two, uh, second Corinthians 5.17 not only that, but he who began a good work in us will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6 God's power saved us and gives us strength to live lives pleasing to him. The power of God is also made evident in resurrection. Did you know that someday God is going to resurrect every human being who ever lived? The righteous will be raised to eternal life and the unrighteous to eternal damnation. God, or I mean John in 5, 28 through 29 and Revelations 20, 11 through 15. Billions of people long dead will be resurrected. That's a tremendous power, right? Suggestions for prayer. Praise God for the power he has shown in his beautiful creation. Thank God that by his power, we he made you into a new creation and will someday raise you to eternal life. For further study, Psalm 33 is a song of praise to God his, of his power and mighty, um, his sovereignty. Examine what it teaches about God's power and read it as your own prayer of praise. Thank you again for watching. Bye. Happy Sunday fun day.